All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ravenfield. Now, we're on a World War One map, although you wouldn't be able to tell it by looking at this here. This is the Fortress Fow. It was made by Chertov, and it is the World War One Battlefield 1 map, where the Ottoman Empire had this, this epic fortress. Now, it's funny, because I actually kind of, like, see the similarities here. What the... Magic! Dark Sorcery. We've captured Spawn. <laughs> okay, we've got planes taking off now. What we really need is some more like World War One weapons. Also, I think like the scale might be a little bit off, but hey, man, things can be fixed, right? Every map should and could be a work in progress till it is masterfully implemented. But a lot of these maps are built by like amateur hobbyists, and just because they're passion, they want to do it. All right, I realized walking is boring, so let's take a plane. Okay, first off, that's a beautiful sunset. These trees are nice, even when they're not on the ground. Ooh, we got some Zodiac boats. See, I remember when I was seeing... I, see, I remember when I was seeing... The redundancy in some of my word choice is... <clears throat> redundant. You see what I did there? Anyway, so Fortress Foul, right? I remember playing this in Battlefield 1 and thinking how cool it would be if you could hold the fortress and then enemies would come in from the giant, uh... The behemoth battleship, right, via the landing craft. And it would be like a customizable game where, oh, what's up, guys? That's cute little anti aircraft fire there. Where it would be all about, like, attacking the fortress. So the fortress is interesting. It does need some work. That tower looks like it's not properly <laughs> standing up, but I don't know. It's, it's been a while since I played Battlefield 1 and Fortress Foul. Hey, here's a question. There's been some, like, kind of drama and intrigue around Battlefield 5. The World War II one? Whoa, is this guy on the ground? Oh god! No! Yeah! Oh my god, that was- that was- that was kind of crazy. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. You know what? You know they're gonna be coming back. So instead of waiting here to die, I'm gonna go ahead and take this plane off. Shoot down that bomber plane. But anyway, who's excited for Battlefield 5? Who thinks we should play it on the main channel? Is that- that's a- that's a blue bomber. I've got- I've got a bogey on my six, don't I? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh my god, he's eight- I'm dead. And I'm dead. Really? And he's dead too. And look at that, there's that sunset. Alright, so I'm actually in the Florida Keys right now. Hello, Billy! <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if there were sharks in the game? Anyway, so I'm in the Florida Keys right now, and that sunset just kind of reminded me of, like, where I'm at right now, and how beautiful it is. But if you want to see pictures, I've got an Instagram. It's, uh, Baron's Adventures, I think, and I'm gonna try to tweet pictures. I gotta remember to tweet pictures out on the Twitters, which is Baron Von Games with a Z2. So anyway, moving on. But yeah, is that a Bolivian flag? Oh, it kind of looked like it right there. Or a Colombian flag, excuse me. Looked like a Colombian flag to me. Could be wrong. Anyway. Look, look at that. that. That collision models. Oh. Oh god, I don't have any bazookas. I know what to do against armor. Use a submachine gun. Well... Oh, they shot me right in the nuts. But yeah, so Battlefield 5. Who's excited for it? They delayed when they were gonna release it. Now, do I want to spawn here, or do I want to spawn back at the base and get a plane? Definitely gonna get a plane. We've got two maps to show for you. The next one is a giant battleship. Which is more World War II themed, this one's World War I themed, so... Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, obviously a game called Raven Field was inspired by Battlefield games. Not like EA games, but the Battlefield series of games. I don't know, it just sounded so funny when I was like, Battlefield games! Battlefield games! It's in the game, or EA games, it's in the... It's in the game. Right? What the heck is wrong with these people? Beep! Beep! Oh, snap! That was a good shot. Who's shooting at me? Pew! Oh, great. Any aircraft fire. But don't worry, baby. Slow motion action shots. So you can see, here's the fortress. A little bit more work done on the fortress and some retexturing, probably. Hey guys, I'm your friend, the blue guys from Eagle Company. Hello, Ravens. 
Oh, <laughs> and discount. All right, so now I'm going to be playing it from the Raven's perspective. And let's go to show you some of these World War One and Battlefield weapons. We got the Hell Regal, um, the Huat automatic rifle, Fedorov automat, the Vickers MG, the Ooh, Winchester. Now, right there is one of my favorites. And then we've got some of these pistols, the MLE. Actually, let's go back and show you some of the other ones. So we've got World War One, then we've got Battlefield One pack, and then there's I still got I got some World War Two weapons for the next map. MP18 Automatico. So you can see that there's some like overlap. The Gavers, M1903s, Malchain, Golden Malchain Henry, and the Model 1900 Slug. I want to go with this, even though it's going to be terrible at range. And then let's go with the Calibri, oh, the little baby pistol. That'll be funny. And then I've got dynamite charges uh, and detonators. I'm, I think that's actually from the World War I pack. Or excuse me, the World War II pack. But I want to show you the Raven, or the, uh, yeah, the Raven's perspective. It's okay. This is not bad. I'm going the wrong way. I'm lost. All right, let's go. I don't know where I'm going. I'll follow these guys. Hello, boys. Do you know where you're going? And here's the Calibri. <laughs> Look at how small it is. The world's smallest pistol here. Oh, that's just funny. All right, so here's the next flag point. Over here, generally, these guys. Hey, you guys not going to take that? Where? That's interesting. Oh, look at this. Are they colored differently? Is it just the sunlight? I think it's just the sunlight. Hello, Billy! I mean, Spider, I was just making sure this gun works. Sorry. All right, let's get our boys. Everybody on board. And everybody else who's... If you ain't us, you gotta get out of the way. Because you hate us, because you ain't us. Dun, 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 dude. Oh, yeah, like a really good Battlefield 1 pack would be interesting. Oh, God. Hello, boys. Oh, my God, we just lost James. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow, I need health. I need health something fierce. Oh, get pump shot in. Hello, tank. You're beautiful. Where's my voice? Take that spot. We need to take this flag. Have I lost both my soldiers? Ooh! The bomber just came in for a huge bombing run. Oh, you know what? Screw this. You guys are coming in? That's cute. I'll get my guy on the MG here. Is this our flag? This is ours. We need to take this so we can get reinforcements. So, I took off AT, anti-tank weapons, anti-armor weapons. Direct it all way. So hopefully we'll retake this flag and get the reinforcements we need. Oh my god, blues are coming out of the woodwork! Hold on to your butts! Yeah, there we go. There's the reinforcements we need. Alright, we'll, we'll position this more centrally to block this. Hello! Oh, I can see that jeep coming in. Pew! Oh, really? I duffed it. <laughs> Blitz! Why are you fighting on the enemy team? And look at this. The, I like how the AI is staying here. Wait, who who's shooting at me? What? Are they shooting me through the tank? Oh, no, that was an explosion. Okay. There we go. There's my medicine. I need my medicine. Look at this. You can see... Look at that. Oh, what? He, he just shot me! Here I am trying to look at his gun. And he's a jerk, man. Friendly fire. Indie games wouldn't be the same without friendly fire. Can I not get up that? Get some! Get some! Where are they hiding at, huh? Oh! Wow. I mean, friendly fire. What are you gonna do? We have six flag points. Our team is victorious. Let's check the map here. So we haven't taken, interestingly enough, nobody's taken this one. I'm actually gonna check that out. I'm gonna go over here, grab the Zodiac boat, and swim around. Swim around, but you know, boat around, basically. That is the idea here. Excuse me. Waypoints would be nice. I'm assuming this is the way to the coast. Yes. Billy, would you be so kind as to defend? You better not. Hold on. You're my soldier now. We're going on a mission. Top secret. We've got the secret World War... What the? Get in the boat, mate. Yeah, use that. Use that little revolver. That's gonna be really good. Oh, wait a minute. Are, are we amphibiously? Oh, we are. And our first stop. Now we want the boat so we can. Yeah. 
All right, let's do this. And you know what, soldier? You're gonna be mine as well. You're part of the, my strange brigade here. We are making the strange brigade, gentlemen. I mean, see, that's the thing. We could make a strange brigade mod. Where, like, you go into the pyramids and temples and stuff. Oh, man, dude. Oh, man. All right, boys, get on the Zodiac. We are going to invade their beach. It looks like we might be able to sneak around. Would you be so kind as to hurry your butt up, mate? But yeah, dude, there needs to be amphibious invasion mode. Like, wave defense where it's amphibious, like there's boats. Why are we so slow? This is not as fast as a regular Zodiac. Not sure if they did that on purpose. Look at that bridge. Battle for the bridge. Ravenfield bridge battles. Now, if we can get behind here, I think this is the edge of the map, and... Oh my god, we don't... Nothing to see here! <laughs> oh! oh gosh, I think we went through space and time. Alright, this can still work. We're just... Gotta drive backwards. Oh, I can't... I can't see. Oh, here we go. Alright, everybody out. <laughs> yeah, so we basically broke the uh, time and space barrier by going to the edge of the map. Look at this. I've got... Am I not hitting them? It looks like the palm tree's blocking them. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. The tree's for sure blocking them. Look at that. <laughs> Collision models are a little off today, Billy. Billy! What the heck? That's ridiculous. Alright, well... Let's spawn back at the airfield, see if we can't get a plane, and try to aerial invade it if that is possible. Alright, so what we're gonna do here, come on boys, I want you, I want you, I want you, and I want you. Follow me. Hey, what, what are you, you're a terrible teammate, I think you just ran over half my squad. <laughs> Alright, I've got the strange brigade coming. We've got six men, all armed with weapons of history here. World War One era, yeah, if, if Strange Brigade happens, it, my god. My god, man. Can you not focus on shooting the bad guys for once? If Strange Brigade takes place in Egypt in the 1930s, and this is World War One, this is before. So this is pre-Strange Brigade stuff. I'm gonna get on that Zodiac and I don't know. Maybe if I don't get shot by my teammates. There's someone parachuting out there. Oh, this is actually the tank I dropped off, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. So, th he's just mad. He was mad like, Baron, why'd you leave me, okay? We were supposed to go get cheeseburgers together, and you totally abandoned me in the war. And I'm like, man, there ain't no cheeseburgers here in the Ottoman Empire. I had Turkish coffee for the first time the other day when I was in Atlanta. Uh, for the Three, three Kingdoms Total War event. And it was awesome. It was really, really minty. And very potent. I was highly caffeinated. Pew! Hello, boys! I wish you could run over emplacements and destroy them. Destructibility? How did we die? Nobody has explosives. Oh, I didn't see that guy. I got a few of them, though. I got a few of them. Okay. Now it's time to go to World War II. So now we are on the battleship Calcisto by Flam, which looks like a super battleship with a carrier deck, which is like maybe three times the size of a regular carrier on both sides. This would have been the biggest, like, ship ever made, I'm thinking. I'm gonna go with a Gewehr 43. Now, World War II collection, let's go ahead and get... I love the M1 carbine. Actually, I'm gonna get a Sten. And then with this, I'm gonna go with an M2 grenade. <laughs> Even though I've got, like, uh, a German rifle, a British SMG, and American grenade. I mean, it's just fitting, isn't it? Alright, so I'm not sure if there's any vehicles. It looks like there's some crashed ones. This is gonna be- Oh, yeah. We're going straight for the plane. We're gonna get an aerial view of this. Oh, man, this is gonna be tough to take off. Ooh! Okay. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five turrets? So that's like a Yamato and an Iowa combined. And then it's Dreadnought style with these giant battleship turrets on the sides and then kind of like cruiser style turrets. Multiple guns in each of them. Hold on. Let's, let's, you know what, let's go. I'm gonna go into the, the sky here. I've gotta shoot down their plane. Gotta take him out. But first things first, we're gonna, oh my gosh! That's a nice effect right there. 
is that it looks like we're under power. Oh man, we're getting torn up. We are getting torn up. Our plane is smoking. They must have hit the oil line and the engine's overheating as the oil just leaks out. Oh shoot, we ran out of bolts there. No way, man. That's another thing. I'm, I'm used to... It's funny how the default plane... Yeah, nice shooting, nice shooting, Tex. Oh, that would have been amazing. You ain't gonna take me alive, coppers! I mean... Come on, get one of them. Yeah, I killed myself! Will you see that? I got myself. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna go on the ground. It looks like we're fighting on the carrier deck, but I'm wondering if we might be able to get inside of the... I've got my Sten here at CQB, and then I've got my G43 semi-auto sniper. Pew! All right, let's move up. Yeah, so this is a massive ship. If this thing actually existed, and it kind of reminds me of one of the older Call of Duty games where you fought on the battleship. Was that Call of Duty 1? My favorite, my favorite Call of Duty was the first Call of Duty. I'm a hipster, okay? I did like the one where they introduced zombie mode. I remember, oh my god, male. Male? Nobody likes you. Everybody gives you discounts if you go paperless, but nope. Alright. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna respawn. Trying to take these flags. <laughs> that pilot's an idiot. And I love him for it. So that was impressive. I want to see the next one take off. Look at this sniper. What you doing, buddy? Alright, someone get in that plane. Pew! It's a little to the left. This sight must be wrong. Alright, oh, this guy's gonna get in the plane. This is gonna be great. Assuming he doesn't get strafed. Yeah, I think my gun sight might be... Alright, you ready to see something hilarious? Hello! Boop! <laughs> okay, Billy. I'm sorry, are you okay? Here. Have some medical assistance. Billy, get up. Billy never got up. And from that day, Baron was scared because Billy never woke up. Oh my god, wings falling from the air? Here we go. So this might be tricky. Well, uh, not if he's dead. Oh, and there's ladders because we got the ladder patch. Alright. So we'll get up here. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of, uh, wasn't it the Turpets? You were playing on the Turpets? Was it the Turpets? What was the Turpets Twister? Twister? Twister ship. Sister ship. Ow. Ow. Tank? We'll take off on the plane because the other guys are idiots and they'll just crash it. Alright, lift off, baby. Ooh! <laughs> okay, I... Yeah, you have to twist your wings. We'll try that again. Alright, so I need to... I need to hit my... Uh, ailerons, so I do that, so the- yeah, there we go. That worked. Alright, you may fire when ready. <laughs> missile lock? Who's got a missile lock? Oh man, I wanna wing tap somebody. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna attempt to wing tap somebody on a drive-by. A drive-by wing tapping? Now, as far as, like, World War II planes, I wish this was, like, a Messerschmitt or a Focke-Wulf. Focke wolf 190 would be real cool. That's a, a German beast. Oh, uh, I don't think we're gonna hit. Oh, just barely missed. All right, I think I've got the lineup. I just gotta circle around properly and not get blown up. In theory, it's not all that difficult, but in actual practice, slapping a man in the face with your wing while flying at high speeds is rather challenging. Oh, this could be it. Oh, we crashed! It's an ambush! Oh, now they turn? They're like, oh, we're AI. This is how we're programmed. Get out of my house! No, stop shooting me! Stop it! Oh, yeah, bring your little heavy machine gun over here. Oh, yeah! Oh, shoot! Oh, We did pretty good. We, we sliced somebody's head off with a wing! That makes me- that gets me thinking. So, in the most recent Tabs video, uh, well, not the- the second most recent one. If you guys haven't been watching the new Tabs videos, you gotta do it. Cause there's been so many updates to it, they're adding so many new things to it. But yeah, just- just- just hit the channel and go back and check them out, man. Because, I wondered- I mused with the idea of maybe implementing a- a dismemberment mod. Alright, as long as I don't get killed by friendly fire, which I'm getting shot by friendly fire. Hey, we haven't been in the ship yet. Let's check this out. 
Yeah, this might be the same way. So the the AI doesn't seem to be bothered unless if there's not a door, it definitely looks like there's a door. We're gonna try that out. We'll go ahead and drop our medicine, those bullets. Akuna Matata, mother truckers! Oh, that was a very short-lived bonsai charge. Oh, wow, look how many points there are. All right, so our objective here is the AI just seems to be slugging it out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explore this ship. I think there's probably one up there. We'll go check it out. Do not shoot me, soldier, or I'll have you court-martialed. Ooh, what's this? A little twin-barreled uh, Luftwaffe shotgun? I forget what game it was. But, um, there was a game, a first-person shooter, which I- which I liked, and, um, the Germans- Oh my god, this is the tallest tower of my life. The Germans had something that it- it had a rifle bullet and two shotgun shells in it, so it was a three-barreled gun. Don't look at me. Oh my god, really, Data? Really, you gotta do that, Data? Alright, we're gonna take this flag first. Ow. Here's the flag. There's a plane crashed here. So let's just go over here. Drop some medicine, drop some ammo, stay calm, and fire grenades. Who, who thinks we get some kills? One kill, two kills, three kills? But yeah, can you imagine? There we go. There's one. Ref error. A uh, reference error, I'm assuming. But yeah, like, imagine if the ship was built. I wish it had, like, destructibility. I think this is part of the... Yeah, this is definitely part of the scenery. Sorry, Turner, but I hate you, so think about that way. Soldier, get up here. Yeah, with your power. Don't don't die though. Don't die on me. There we go. Right two. So now we check the map. Okay. There's still a few ones, and I'm not sure how to get to them. Well, can I get inside here? Oh god, that's bad. If I get if I survive that, ooh, that was close. Alright, there's gotta be a way to get in up here without having to climb everything. Where are these flags at? Can I, I can't actually climb that. Interesting. If all these guns were serviceable, you'd have the craziest game of your life. Oh god, those are bad guys. Yeah, according to the map, there are other flag points. I, I don't know if they're inside the ship. Whoa, what's this? Well, here we go. Alright, so we took this one. It's called Smokestacks. But if you look on the map, we gotta get to the right spot. And we're gonna have to run the gauntlet. Right there is another flag. Do you think we can- we can- let's go for it. Go, 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 go! I got shot by my friends before- <laughs> Of course, of course I get shot by friends before enemies. Classic. Let's do it again. Wait. Let's get a different gun. I'm gonna need, um... Brand BAR, FG42, I love this one. And we'll go to, uh... Let's go to... the M1 carbine. Yeah, we definitely gotta make it there. The AI just doesn't seem to be bothered by it, so we're gonna- we're gonna try to run the gauntlet one more time. See if it's possible. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not thinking our- oh! Yeah, that guy got worked. I love this. The FG-42 is so dirty. It's- we got 30 rounds. Historically, I think it was only 20 rounds, but... Doesn't mean- my god! This thing tears them up! That doesn't mean you couldn't have a 30 round mag. Alright, go, 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 go. Look at all those bullets going by. Oh man, of course I'm reloading in the middle. And I got killed by Cotton. You know what, guys? I have to say, not only are you inaccurate at shooting the enemy, but you're some of the worst teammates ever. Alright, so we'll hop down and look at that. Voila. We're passing all these giant battleship batteries. Now, ooh. The amount of games... Mmm. My... Alright, so I should have gotten a full squad first. So we're actually going to get a full squad and bring them down here. And we're going to capture that flag to even out the battle, because somehow they have more than us. Alright, boys, I need... I need a squad of brave men. Look at these guys, man. Look at all those MG42s. Alright, I need them to follow. Alright, everybody get down here. This should be interesting. To see if they follow me. Oh, I guess there's a ramp here. Yeah, I guess... Are you guys coming? There we go. I would like you to go here. Are they trying? I thought they'd walk. They're not doing it. This is called left one. I don't think I want left one. There we go. Lower guns one. Lower guns one. Let's see. Let's see if they actually listen. Frag out! Frag out! No kills? Weak. Yeah, so this is the flag, but it doesn't trigger. So, wait. It... 
It's coming up though. That where's the indicator? I don't know. It's very interesting. All right, so here is the calpsy. So I decided to go into spectator view because look at this. Imagine if this thing was like actually created. You've got all these little AA guns, and by little I mean these things. Like one shell from that would crack apart, just absolutely destroy almost any plane. And those things were going boom, 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 just automatic. And you got six of them on the front. You've got, oh, actually, this is the rear of the ship, right? Then you got four turrets here, and I think it's, what was it? We had five up front, more AA guns, more battleship guns. Like, three to five of these things is, like, what a battleship consisted of, right? We need, like, more machine guns, like other small arms, but man, this is, like, a beautiful ship. Look at that. Can you imagine, like, this battle here, the fight for, like, the care like the super battleship carrier that's what's happening here now there needs to be some pathfinding issues and for some reason we weren't able to get start the capturing but wait actually i want to see can we go inside here i want to see if there's flags okay so there are some flags in the middle here where am i on the map unfortunately i can't really see where i am on the map it doesn't show my viewpoint is there a flag point up here there's not can you get in here doesn't look like it. Okay. So, we were right about that. You can't really get into most aspects of the ship. But there are a few flags hiding around here. Just weren't able to find them. Oh, wait. That's a flag right there. Okay. We could have found that if we looked a little bit more. So, this is the Kalpsista. So, it's not a U.S. battleship, German, or Japanese, or any of the other guys. Like the... Oh, how could you forget the Royal Navy Baron? We have the largest navy. Yes. And you had some pretty cool ships, man, including catapult launched hurricane aircraft. Oh, man, the possibilities. Anyway, it's pretty sweet, though. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching a World War One, World War Two themed Ravenfield episode. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did and you got some ideas for the next Ravenfield episode, let me know below, and I will see you in the next video.